Hello, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and uh, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video on Friday the 9th of December. Oh, you know, I've left my watch on. I'll take my uh, watch off so I don't get paint all over it. Because that wouldn't be very cricket. It's, it's only one for Margos, but I haven't had it that long. It's a shame to get paint on it so early on. So anyway, what I'll say before I start is I'm on call, so if my wife comes bursting through the door, then um, I'll have to whiz off. Um, there's a good chance of something happening, I can feel it in my bones. But anyway, I thought I'd do some painting between jobs. So uh, I'm going to be painting on this canvas panel, 20 by 16 inches, and I'll put a, a layer of gesso on with my fingers, which has dried nicely. On my glass palette, I've got some Payne's Grey, I've got some Earth Green, I've got some Violet, I've got Primary Blue and Titanium White. So only five colours there. So uh, a sort of uh, tonalist way of working. Um, right, let's uh, let's make a start. I've replaced the glass panels. My other one were about an inch deep in old dry paint, so I've got a fresh one. So uh, right, let's uh, get some Payne's grey. Let's start loading up some of that. Get some linseed oil as well, which I've got in the middle. And then off we go. Right, and do some of this stormy and seasidey. A few waves. Oh, I do love this new paint. And I was saying yesterday in the previous video. Yeah. It's a little bit more pricey than my usual stuff. I've still got my usual stuff. Yeah, my cheaper paint, which I'll... Uh, I'm going to complement with this uh, professional, fine quality stuff. Alright, got the idea with some waves. Let's give me a brush a quick wipe. Absolutely lashing it down now, though. It's, uh, it's been funny weather today. It's been crazy, I had a bit of everything. I had snow and blue sky and sunshine and rain and everything in between. It's been uh, quite lousy weather. Oh, I'll get some sap green. I'll just add a bit of this uh, violet to that. Hopefully get an interesting colour. I don't want it too violet, otherwise it'll come, come out red. There we go. Lovely stuff. It's lovely and creamy, this paint. Put some of that on there. Just a little bit red, but might add to it, we shall see. But yeah, it, it does uh, blend nicely, this paint, so it doesn't matter if there's a bit of red on. Well, that's a start anyway. I'll have a ship about there, I reckon. Right, let's do some sky. Give me a brush a quick wipe. Oh, I'll get a bit of this uh, primary blue with some linseed oil. I might just mix a tiny bit of green into that. Just a little bit. Nice. Oh, well, that's quite nice, that colour. Just whack some of that in the sky. Not bad. Lovely bold colours going on. Yeah. 
Yeah, very excited about it. Board's wobbling a bit. I do tend to wave my arms about quite a lot. I talk at, at work about my paintings and somebody asks how long it takes me. It's about half an hour. And they, they just couldn't believe it. Everybody gobsmacked. It only takes half an hour. So I just haven't got the patience to sit about for hours on end. Yeah, it is quite nice that blue. <laughs> Lovely. What I'll also do is get a Knife a bit of white on the horizon. Yeah, I've been at work, uh, dead excited about coming home and painting. This thing about painting, you know, once you get into it, it's bloody frustrating at first, but you just got to carry on, keep going, don't, don't stop, don't ever stop, don't get disheartened, just do it. More titanium white. So put a bit of Payne's grey, might mix some like violet in and just have it up here. It's stormy what we're doing. Do like stormy skies. Oh that's it. True to form. Boards come off. It's a bloody brilliant easel, but uh, still particularly the panel, you do, it does tend to slip, especially if you're painting my style, you're very quick, quite rough with it. Right, let's give the camera a quick break so it doesn't overheat. And we're back on a bit more Payne's Grey up here. <laughs> oh, bloody ball keeps coming off. Get them on. Geared. Keep going. I'm tired after a bit if you work quick, but it's worth it in the end. Right, that's better. Try that, that's more like it. Use that horrible rectangle there caused by the lighting in here. This check roll in focus actually having moved my canvas about. Yes, we are good. Bit more of that violet going into the Payne's grey. Mm 
Right, so just gently go over this. Oh, you know. Oh, I just bought this bloody bush as well. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, bloody crap. It hasn't even got the brand name on it. I was going to name and shame then. It really is pants. I only used it once. Oh, another one bites the dust. Just give it a quick clean, it's still wet. I'm gonna have to use it without the handle. My god. Just go over the sky gently. I think it was a couple of videos ago it happened again. Yeah, another brush falling apart on me. Another thing about being rough as a paint. Right, that is a start. Bloody brush. Now, let's think about this ship out there. I'm going to use my curved palette knife, sort of, it's almost ship shaped. i be careful saying ship shape. So, I'll have it a little about there. And the hull. Like so. <laughs> Done it quite small. I could always go larger if I wanted to. Better off going small, I think, instead of starting large. It's more difficult to take paint off. There we are. wipe of the old palette knife start adding a little bit of again just up here oh this does go on nice it's beautifully thick this paint a few spars on and there one there it doesn't matter if I make a mistake sometimes adds to it My small palette knife just put something there like that all off memory uh, put some various ropes and things going up as well oh there's a little lump there it's like a man going up the rigging I like that uh, few more bits and pieces check my cameras on here it is that's good not looking too bad few bits on there like I don't know tackle blocks few blobs and shapes Not looking too bad that. Not bad at all. Good 
stuff. I'll leave that for now. We'll just carry on with a C. Give me a brush a quick wipe. I might add some blue to the C. With perhaps a bit of violet mixed in as well and some green. There we go. Nice dark stormy sea. More blue. Goody gum drops. It paints grey in the foreground. You know, a little bit of red in the sea helps, I think. We'll keep that. Let me see, foreboding sea, which is what I like. Something scary about the sea. Do love a scary sea. Not too bad. Oh, it's a bit of Titanium white gone on by accident, that helps. We'll keep that. Lovely. I might just add a bit more. For the waves. Which is all very helpful. Notice me. Stomach rumbling. Just had me tea, it's repeating on me a bit. Nice and stormy. Not bad, not bad. Just give me camera break again. There we are, switched my camera back on. We'll carry on. Just give my camera a rest for a couple of minutes yeah, each time. It just gives me a rest as well. Also stops my camera from... Oh, the stomach rumbling again. Overheating too much. Right, a bit more Payne's grey down here. <laughs> Some of that blue again. Just holding my brush at the very tip, just keeps my painting nice and loose. <laughs> right then, quick clean of the brush. <coughs> I'm just going to bring some of this sky down a bit. Same again on this side. I 
add a bit of titanium white. into the hull a bit. This gives the illusion of some clouds. stuff so far. Working it. Ah, I'll just add a bit of blue again, just in the distance. Oh, it's the Christmas do tomorrow at work, or the Christmas don't, as I often call it. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of Christmas doos, but I uh, thought I'd go this time. I haven't been to one for donkey's years, but I thought I'd go because it's, uh, you know, I'm new, new in the job. It was my first Christmas and it's a job that I really like. So I thought I'd grace them with my presents. Not going to get too hammered because I'm on call again on Sunday. Looking good. Had a few waves. Again. Or the illusion of waves. not looking too bad. We're nearly there. Right, the camera rest again. Right, a bit more waves. Nice and quick. Not bad. Now, start finishing off this ship and then we're done. Mm -hmm. 
you know, might have messed up the rigging. So with that in mind, let's churn that up. That doesn't matter. The hole's all right. Keep the hole. That's the beauty about oil paint. You just make a mistake and if you're not happy, just go over it. And it's given the added bonus of giving the sky a bit more depth. Which is all right and it's all good. You know, don't get frustrated by it. Just go over it. Right. Let's just uh, put a bit more Payne's Grey if I can find it on my palette and I'll add the sails again. Hopefully better this time. <laughs> yep, good feeling about it. Bars and things again. <laughs> yeah, you make a mistake, it's not a it's not the be all and end all. Some bits of rigging again, same as before. Various bits of rope work, dab it on my palette knife. You know, this is looking better, starting to come alive. That's more like it. Um, yeah, better now. Pleased. <coughs> Man of War. Let's get me small part knife again. I'm wondering if if the masts are too tall. I wonder if I just knock off the top portion. Try and keep everything into scale and perspective, even though it's just imaginary. You know, I'm not copying off anything. It's just what's in my mind's eye. That seems a bit better. Been a bit of a battle with painting, but it's all good fun. Could easily be flags or something up there, top of the mast. Good stuff. Right. Scratch some various lines and things on the hull. Oh, 
and what I'll do is just add a few uh, little waves breaking. Paint's grey over here just to help the contrast a bit. Like that little patch there of violet, just add a bit in, won't do any harm. There we go, lovely. And I might I'll just give this pollen knife a quick clean. Nice patch of violet there. Let's put some on the horizon. So, just in the sky. Just let it blend with my fingers. There we go. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Yes, that's worked. And smooth it over there as well, the other finger. Yeah, pleased as punch. Right, what we need, Might just add just a little bit of white on that hole. It's a little bit of light perhaps just there. <laughs> yeah, a few patches of light here and there. Magenta as well, why not? Not magenta, violet, close. Not too bad. Bit more white just there. And I think that looks just about dandy. I wonder have a little cannon sticking out there like that. And just define that edge a little bit there as well. Perhaps something there like that, a figure. And another one there. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I think we are there, you know. So uh, yeah, 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I, I might do a couple of finishing bits on the sky off camera, but uh, I think we've gone on long enough anyway, listening to my dulcet tones. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget I'm on uh, as well as YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram and junkie.co.uk. So I will see you in the next video. That looks uh, not bad. So uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.